My name is Ken Lee. This is an essay that I wrote. The Delphian School was established in the 1970s. It is not a world-famous, hundred-year-old, top-ranking institution. It has approximately 100 staff members with around 200 students. It has a so-so building with a so-so gym and some so-so dormitories sitting on a so-so hill in Sheridan, Oregon. As an Asian student from a large city, I did not think this would be the place that could possibly shape my future. I walked into the big classroom the first day, and I was confused. Where were the lectures? Why was it quiet? What did the four words on the school logo, knowledge, integrity, leadership, and ethics mean? And what was the independent study program? With a lot of doubt, confusion, and no basics in English, I started the ESL program. I completed it in eight months, and my English improved. Though it wasn't flawless, it improved more than I thought it could. By the time I finished my junior year, I had become fluent in my second language. I read David Copperfield, Great Expectations, Hamlet, Alice Strzok, and many other works of classic literature, and they expanded my knowledge. I was in the student government, and I took responsibility for a large area of the school. I played different sports and became a leader on the teams. I planned many school activities like the senior prom and the Europe trip, and I experienced the difficulties of organizing group activities. I was the main actor in our school play. The result, according to the audiences, was fascinating. I discovered a sense of the arts in my mind, and I strengthened that sense by doing the school's incredible art program. Three years later, I achieved the highest school awards and several state awards in ceramics. I worked as an intern, ran my own ceramics classes. Most of all, I discovered my career interest: hairstyling. I met and worked with the CEOs of an international hair salon corporation, Tony and Guy. I helped establish the first Tony and Guy salon in my province and earned a working certification by doing apprenticeships there. Through the Delphian program, I mastered different subjects and obtained knowledge. I understood and fell in love with literature. I learned and defined my own morality. I became one of the leading influences among the school community. I know the career that I love, and I have a path that was paved by myself. Lastly, though imperfect, I have a philosophy of living. This transformation was breathtaking, and I can hardly recognize myself. The program shaped my future in a way that makes me shiver to think who I would have become if I hadn't set foot in what is, in my opinion, one of the best places on earth. I mean it. There is nothing like Delphian anywhere. And it is a privilege to be part of it. My gratitude is limitless, and I will forever cherish the memories of Delphian. My name is Baraka Smith. My name is Mino. My name is Kyla Melton. So I'm not the president. My name is Crystal Ehrlich. I'm 18. I'm from Boise, Idaho. His name is B A R A C K. I'm B A R A K A. There's a difference. I was born in Holland. I'm from Chicago, and I'm a senior this year. And now I go to Delphi. And I go to the Delphi.